What's going on, everybody? So you're probably just hearing me talk right now, and then before the actual uh, stream screen comes up, stream screen <laughs> comes up, and the reason is, is tonight's stream is going to have some spoilers in it, so this is your chance. This is your chance right now that if you do not want to see spoilers, you will not hurt my feelings. I get it. I understand. Some people do not want to see spoilers. But if you do not want to see spoilers, then now is your chance to uh, leave the stream or turn off the video of the stream and just listen. Either way, it's fine with me. So, with that being said... What's up, everybody? <laughs> oh, man. So... Tonight, we got an action-packed show for you tonight. It is uh, going to have spoilers in it. It's going to have all kinds of stuff. Uh, real quick, I'll introduce you to our channel moderator and friend of the stream. This is Gigapods. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Well, he's a lot less excited than I am. Oh, man. Oh, don't, don't even get me started. <laughs> But, no, in all reality, I love spoiler season. I love seeing cards from the new set. Obviously, what I have up on screen right now is not cards from the new set. Uh, but we're going to talk about these. We're going to talk about spoilers. Uh, we just got picked up, for those of y'all that don't know, we just got picked up and with as a uh, sponsored WotC content creator. So we may talk about that a little bit tonight. But first, what everybody's been waiting for, for the past three months, through the dumpster fire that was Theros, Icoria spoiler. So, um, real quick, as always, this stream is brought to you by Emerald Dragon Games and Antonio MTG, that's this guy. Um, Emerald Dragon Games, where you can get all of your pre-order needs. Also, we'll be running a tournament this weekend where you have a chance to win a Challenger deck. So you can go check it out on my page and uh, sign up, help support these guys while, you know, the entire state of Florida is shut down as of tonight. 
So if you're considered non-essential, you are ordered to stay at home, only going out for essential stuff. So during this epic time in our lives that we have never experienced before, support your local game store wherever they are. And if you want to help support mine, awesome. So, what I have up on screen is is, is a lead into our first spoiler card that we're going to uh, discuss tonight before we get into our league. But you see Doran, the Siege Tower. Each creature assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. And Belligerent Brontodon, which also states the same thing. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. So whenever you look at these two cards, you're like, well, we've seen these. They've been out forever. Well, with Ikoria coming out, the new, mecha new mechanic that they're going to unveil is Backbone. And uh, Gigapon knows a little bit more about the get Backbone. Alright, so with Backbone, essentially Doran the Siege Tower and Belligerent Brontodon will be stating that uh, essentially uh, Duran will say each creature has backbone and Belligerent Br Brontodon respectively will say uh, each creature you control has backbone instead of this. They're, it, like they did back in the lifelink and vigilance in the past, they used to be very long length text boxes like these are. They're going to condense these down into a um, single keyword for it. I'm really excited. There's some spoilers if you guys haven't checked out Wizards article page yet on the mechanics and just the, and the Planeswalker guide for it. Please, please do that. Um, it has a lot of great things. Or there's a lot of exciting things. You know, great arts. You know, we can make speculations on it. And also potential trilands. But we'll talk more about that later. Yep, we'll talk about the. Uh, we will try to stay away from things that have been unofficially spoiled. But for the most part, we're going to be talking about the spoiler. So. The whole reason we showed you these two cards is to show show you the first spoiler of tonight, and that is Zilratha, Strength Incarnate, also known as Godzilla. Godzilla! The King of Monsters. <laughs> so, Godzilla! Uh, <laughs> so, Godzilla, the King of Monsters. Uh, trample. Lethal damage dealt to creatures you control is determined by their power rather than their toughness. So, if you want to know why we showed these cards and every one of them assigning combat damage as toughness, you essentially blank any card that does that. Because it has to assign it by its power, but it's assigning it by its toughness, so therefore... If I'm correct, no damage is taken. Is that correct? Well, no. I mean, so, like, in this case, if the uh, Belligerent Brontodon attacked and you blocked with Godzilla, King of the Monsters, they would trade because four damage would be dealt by Brontodon's power to Godzilla, and Godzilla would deal seven damage to Brontodon, they would trade. In this case, a better example would be if Duran tried attacking into this card, Godzilla would eat it alive and nothing would happen to Godzilla because zero damage would be dealt to Godzilla. Gotcha. So, with that being said, we got our nice gruel monster here. And, uh, you know, I was thinking of decks that we have played in the past. We played a lot of Ponza. We played a lot of various different uh, red-green decks in the past. And that leads us to what we're going to be playing tonight. If I can find it again. Here we go. Which is red-green monsters. So, kind of playing off the theme of the spoil cards tonight. Uh, or that were spoiled today. You know, we're, we're going into a red-green monsters list. Now, do I know if Godzilla will uh, find a home here in Red, Red Green Monsters? I mean, it is 5 mana. Glorybringer's 5 mana. It's a 7-3. Uh, has what? Uh, trample on it. So I could possibly see it there. Uh, but who knows? But we are going to be playing Red Green Monsters tonight. 
without Godzilla. But one of the things that a lot of these gruel, like Ponza style decks of uh, have in common, which this one, looking at the list, does not have it, but it's a Rex Age. So there was a card spoiled today, we're about to put it up on screen right now, called Gamut's the Destroyer, or Angrius Matador Balindadao. I believe that is Spanish, but <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. But, uh, but give us the destroyer, three and a green creature beast would mutate of one green green would reach and trample whenever this creature mutate destroy target artifact or enchantment and opponent controls. So essentially, let's say we uh, we start off with our turn one Arbor Elf or our turn one Birds of Paradise. Uh, our opponent plays Thopter Foundry on their turn two. Our turn two, we play a land. Green, green, one, mutate our bird of paradise into this guy, blow up their Thopter Foundry. Um, and then every time, now granted this would kind of, uh, to continue to use that effect over and over again, we would have to have more mutate creatures to mutate onto him and just leave him as the top one. It enters, boom, blow up another enchantment. I believe that's how mutate works because it says whenever it mutates, you do that. So, could this be a 4-4, four, four, oh, excuse me, a 4-4 four, four Rex Sage would reach and trample? Eh, possibly. I'm pretty sure I'm going to try it out. That's for sure. So, but anyway, to the deck we're playing tonight. <laughs> so, uh, we got 20 lands. We got Arbor Elves. We got Utopia Sprawls. We got Hex Drinker, Lightning Bolts. Uh, Magus of the Moon is our Blood Moon effect over the actual enchantment Blood Moon. Uh, Bloodbraid Elves, Cloythus, God of Destinies, Tireless Trackers from for some card advantage, Bone Crusher Giants if we want to force through damage. Uh, Glory Bringers, uh, Bloodbraid Elves, a Questing Beast, and a Chandra in the main board, Torch of Defiance. In our sideboard, we have a Braid, Anger of the Gods for those pesky creature matchups. Uh, whoever built this list really hated blue, as we have a Chandra Awaken Inferno. We have a Boil to blow up islands. We have a Choke to choke down islands. Uh, we also have Collector Roofs for your Urza matchups. Uh, Obstinate Veilofs for your discard. Liliana, uh, like Jund, Death Shadow, those type of matchups. Cinder Vines for Storm and anything that is uh, uh, looking to cast a lot of spells. We got some Graveyard Hate over here with Relic of Progenitus and Graft Digger's Cage. And that is Gruel Monsters and that's going to be our deck for tonight. So let's get into a league. See how this goes throughout the night. We'll be talking about more spoilers. Uh, just different things going on in Magic. Yes! <laughs> and our lands. Don't forget that. Would you like to play for... Yes, I would. Thank you. So, Stonebeard. Good luck. Have some fun. Alright. So what do we got? We got a pillage. We got a turn two blood moon into a turn three pillage. That seems pretty good. We'll keep. I would say a turn two blood moon effect. Thanks, Stonebeard. He's an awfully nice opponent that we got going on here. Cavern of Souls. Naming Elf. Oh, looks like we're playing some Elves. Okay. So the question is, do we just Bone Crusher this Elf? Or do we just blow up his land and then Blood Moon? Or Blood Moon then start blowing up lands. 
Or can we do both? That's two, five. We'll have four. No, we'll have three available. Tireless tracker. Kill the elf. All right, we kill the elf. Stomp you. Uh, we'll foothills. We'll crack foothills. We will get another forest. We'll forest Utopia Sprawl on forest, naming red. And we'll move on to our four mana play next turn. <coughs> Excuse me. Do, do, do. No, stop. Mystical. Elvish Mystic. Uh oh. Alright, so we can Tireless Tracker, Windswept Teeth, and get some clues, or we can just go ahead and pillage a land. But he's still gonna have two to three. He could conceivably go off next turn. Access to three mana, Heritage Druid, another, another Nettle Sentinel, three mana, and just basically cast this whole hand. So I think we Tireless Tracker. Land. Fetch. For us. No sense in hurting ourselves. Where'd our clue go? Oh, we ain't made them yet. There we go. Crack clue. Grow our tracker. See what we draw. Okay, BB could be good next turn. It's hoping to draw a bolt. Yeah, get clues at this point. Seems like a good idea. Elvish Visionary gets a redraw. Elvish Vision. So, Giga, man, tell me what you think about the spoilers. Through the roof. To the windows. To the roof. <laughs> yeah, man. I think it looks pretty sweet. And I've always been a big, dumb, giant monster guy anyway. So. Good news is, it's post sideboard. We got Anger of the Gods. Oh, boy. Here's the Druid. I told you, man, you'd think I'd played this game a few times. Yep, another hair destroyed. Tap three more creatures. All right, he's out of creatures. All right, I think here we just BBE. See what we will into. What do you think? I think that's right. Yeah, I think BBE is just fine. Yeah. When you want to get up there, you uh, where's my lightning bolt? There it is. Let's see my nettle sentinel. Alright. So, he can block and kill Tracker, but he loses three things. Yeah, we just swing in. Alright. 
I mean, he only has one card left in hand, so it's going to be his next two cards. All right. Alright. So yeah, it's access to six mana right now. Two cards in hand. Access to six mana. Shaman is going to deal us four damage. Swings for three. Yeah. He's winning the race, boys. He's winning the race. So we can go, this is stomping ground. All right. Uh, yes. Two. So I think we just season Pyromancer here. I mean, Blood Moon and Pillage isn't really doing nothing at this moment. He has access to all this mana. So let's season Pyromancer. Draw a bunch of cards. Discard you and you. Alright, well, we get a pillage anyway. And let's crack a clue. Oh, can I undo that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. So we pitched a pillage in a blood moon and got a pillage in a blood moon. <laughs> all right, it's all tied up at nine. We are tied up at nine. Opponent has access to a billion mana, three, six mana, two cards in hand, gets a redraw off of Elvish Visionary. Looking for that Crater Hoof Behemoth. Gets a Nick though, so that's a lot of mana. One, two, three, four, five. I guess it's not really that much. Dwin and Delete. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Would you like to attack? Uh. Okay. Sure. Opponent's out of card, so he's in full-on top deck mode. And we go to end. Kaloithis. Hmm. It's an interesting card. forest make a bunch of clues let's run out coithus let's run out hmm maybe we just grow the tracker yeah let's do this if we draw a bolt which is what I was hoping to draw. We can take out... If he blocks with one, two, three, four... He'd have to block with everything. For us to lose... Okay. Begin. Combato. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... So he's looking for a top deck of Yeah, we just do this. So he's looking for a top deck shaman of the pack. All right. Or Lord, yeah. We got a bolt though to handle the Lord. I'm not worried about that. All 
All right. Then in our upkeep, we just start pinging him for two. I mean, pretty good to me. There's the Lord. Yep, can't be countered. Swing away, my friend. Go to two. GG. Alright. Let's go to sideboard. <coughs> so in our sideboard, we have more creature removal. Uh, the Magus is going to go down at least three. Let's see. What else do we want? Bayloth, nah. Really just think like this. So we have Angers to wipe his board clean. We have a Braid plus our Lightning Bolts to shoot down, you know, individual creatures. I mean, we should be okay unless he gets one of those insane, you know, 70 elf draws. Uh, yeah. I'll keep. <laughs> I got Anger of the Gods, and I can cast them on turn two. Yeah! <laughs> That's what we're talking about. I'll, I'll win with a Hex Drinker. Elvish Mystic. Boom. And we got Spot Removal. This is Nutso. on red I had to double check and make sure I had red in my hand <laughs> can he run his whole hand out and get board white that would be great come on do it heritage druid oh, oh yeah keep them coming you think this is worthy of an anger? I think this is worthy of an anger. Nope. Stopping round. Pay to life, yes. This is worthy of an anger. Goodbye. Oh! He only has lords in hand. <laughs> uh, let's say we run out this guy, then level him up twice. And we got a 4-4. Four -four. Protection from instance. No beast within. Stomping ground. Here comes the first lord. Azuri, probably. Or Heritage. Elvish? Okay, well, we gotta stop for that. What's it take to. We're at three? Nah, we're alright. Stop that guy. Uh, run out, Bone Crusher. We got a 4-4 four, four and a 4-3. Alright, what's the next three mana play? Arch Druid? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, fetch land, crack fetch land, get, this is no respect here, we're, we're shocking ourselves, we have no respect.
Yeah, I, I didn't think about that at the time. I thought, for some reason, I thought le I could level up as a sorcery, okay? <laughs> I mean, as an instant. Whoops, I forgot to level it up the last time. I'm representing an abrade. Do 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 do. Bloodbraid Elf. Bloodbraid cascades into a bolt. Bolt your face. GG, Stonebraid. GG. Oh, wait, wait. You could have a Coco. He could. Go! Oh, my gruel brother's in the chat. <laughs> What's up, buddy? He realized that Coco doesn't save him from this 6-6 six, six pro everything. <laughs> I am officially happy. <laughs> oh, GG, my friend. GG. Man, we got some gruel monsters going on tonight. Did you see Godzilla? Literally, protection from everything. <laughs> oh, want to know, want to know with our awful, awesome. Oh, they don't. They never beat that drinker. It's like playing against a questing beast. They just can't beat it. <laughs> All right. Uh, actually, let's get back to our, what we were doing over here. So, so, so far... We've explained what the backbone mechanic is. We have looked at Godzilla! We got Godzilla! We looked at this spoiler card of Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Hey, Godzilla! Why not? Why not play it? It's a 7 3 for 5 mana with trample and lethal damage. It's dealt to creatures you I control is determined by their power rather than their toughness. Okay. I'm cool with that. Uh, so we had Godzilla. We also talked about the potential that I'm going to try to play with. Uh, mutate creature Rex Sage. That every time it mutates, we get to destroy an artifact or an enchantment. That's awesome. Uh, also has reach and trample so it can reach up into the sky and just beat down like some pesky spirits player oh yeah uh, what's up prowess daddy so so we got that and our next spoiler that we're going to talk about is Gigapon himself Kongla the Titan Ape <laughs> <laughs> also known as King Kong in these these worlds. So, what does Kongla do? Kongla, when Kongla, the Titan Ape, enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Pretty good. 7-6 that beats something in the face. Yeah, Prowess, I am not going to lie. I'm probably going to waste a lot of money, too. Gigapons over there already, like, pre-ordering stuff, so... But, uh, when Kongla attacks... Yeah, when Kongla attacks, destroy target artifact or enchantment defending player controls. So basically, the six mana seven six just basically says screw all of the Theros block. Like, up yours, Theros. Take seven, and I'm going to destroy your most relevant enchantment or artifact. Pretty good. And then you got uh, one in the green, return target human you control to its owner's hand. Kongla gains indestructible until the end of turn. So think about this. If you have a Kongla out and you have that explore, what is that uh, explore creature? Lovestruck Beast. You can Lovestruck Beast out the human token off of Lovestruck Beast, pay two and bounce that back to your hand, which obviously the token dies and you got an indestructible Kongla. Kongla. 
So. Oh, Charming Prince. That's another one. Yeah. Rip all our, our wallets and rip all of Theros. <laughs> so, uh, so we got some more spoilers we're going to be discussing in between rounds tonight. Um, if I can find my Discord where I put them all. So, got a few. Oh, what is this one? Hold on. That one don't have any text to it. What the heck? Come on, Giga. We need text. We need to be able to read these stupid things. This thing's oh, in Japanese. My bad. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> All right, well, we will not be discussing that one this round. We're going to get back into our matches, and let's go for round number two to see if we can keep this uh, Hope for a 5-0 alive. With our Gruel Monsters. So I got uh, Gorex in chat with us right now. Gorex is my Gruel brother. We are some Gruel playing duders. <laughs> Big mana monster deck. Imagine if uh, Tron lands could produce colored mana. I'd be in for that. <laughs> I'd be all in for that one. I guess it can. If you use Tron mana to pump into Cascading Cataracts, you can get the colored mana. That's some big brain plays there. Uh, hey, what in the world? Kongla, the Titan Ape. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Giga. So, next round we'll talk about the Japanese spoiler I was going to show you this round, but... So we don't get to play first. We do got a Hex Shrinker, a Cloyfist, a Seasoned Pyromancer. We got the mana to level Hex Shrinker up to a 4-4. Uh, or we can just go turn to Cloyfist. Hmm. Like, turn one, Utopia Sprawl. Turn two, land Hex Shrinker, level it up twice. So 4-4 four, four pro instant. It really just depends on what our opponents play and we don't. Would the Dryads work? Huh. I think we keep this because we can always redraw off the Pyromancer. Okay, it's burn. We're going to need to get this Hex Drinker up quick. It's prowess. Hey, Prowess Daddy, are you playing against me? Are you stream sniping me? Don't you stream snipe me. Alright, uh, Force. Utopia Sprawl. We're gonna need our Anger of the Gods in this match. <laughs> That's for sure. But, I mean, we got a lot more removal than normal draw. Or, norm. No. Norm. Yeah, this is Prowess. Fiery is lit. Runaway Team Ken. What I wouldn't give for a uh, anger of the gods right now. So we can make a 4-4 four, four next turn. Without killing ourselves. Or we can just throw down a Cloythus. But Cloythus really don't do much right now. Since he's tapped out, I want to get Hex Shrinker down and get it to a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, no, because Tron, when you activate Tron, it activates it as all colorless mana. Or, with Dryad, you can activate it as one single colored mana. So. It's essentially a three mana, four, four? No. We need one more. Uh-oh. Our dude can die. I miscalculated. I miscalculated. Punt. Hey, don't you punt me. Even though it's true. Ha! I ain't set up the command yet. What? <laughs> Dang it! Well, at least the Burt Lightning didn't go to my face. Okay. 
And plus, now my Cloythus can be activated. Oh, man. Here we go. Crash through. For a redraw. How can we always run into stinking prowess when we're playing, like, red decks with Blood Moon effects? That's six damage. We go to 13. Opponent still has three cards. Light up the stage. Uh, Swiss Sphere, Metamorphose. So you can remove three counters, cast Swiss Sphere, cast Metamorphose, or just wait till next turn. Probably wait till next turn. Chandra. That's a tough call. Alright. Gotta run out the Chandra and take out this Steamkin. Yeah, we're killing this team, kid. Yeah, I should have ran out the Cloythus last turn. Cast some Anamorphos. Trying to get the most out of his, uh... And I ain't rooting for that. I'm just hoping to divert some damage. So if he sends like the Swiss Spear at Chandra and something else at and at me, then maybe we just All right. All right. Swiss Sphere from the Exile Zone. Hopefully he just has three lands in hand. Man, I'm making a sad face. He's trying to ruin our 5-0. We're 1-0. What in the world? Soul Scar Mage. Okay, okay, okay. It's not a spell. Ooh. All right, we got hope, boys. One at me, one at Chandra. That seems right. We got hope. It's fleeting, but it's hope. If we keep drawing these stinking lands, we ain't got no hope. All right, well. One, two, three. Pyromancer. Come on, give us some bolts. One, two, okay. Give us a bolt. Blood braid elves. We're probably dead. <laughs> Those were not bolts. Yeah, I know. It's hard to root against prowess. I get it. You're our favorite neighborhood prowess guy. Hey, but I beat you with a uh, amulet titan. Just saying. I gave you the win though. <laughs> Crash through. Nice redraw. Not good for us. And he has a redraw with Friary Islet. Need him not to have like three spells. Or a burn spell. That'd be nice. So I really want to go BBE next turn and hopefully hit a lightning bolt. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. Yeah, we're blocking, bud. I don't care what you attack with. We're blocking something. All right, down to six. That's not good. <laughs> All right, so we got to stop. We got a BBE. This Cloythus is sitting over here feeling real sad. Uh, 
if we BBE, I mean, we're going to die next turn no matter what. Unless we hit something amazing off this BBE. Utopia's Frawl is not amazing. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. So, I mean, these. Uh, maybe. Uh, Baylofts. Uh, yep. All of these. So, Pillage is fine. Maguses, get out of here. Uh, let's go down to Cloyth. Two Cloythus. Chandra is fine. Yeah, I'd Why keep pillet? This is what we're cutting. We'll go down to one Cloythus. We're bringing all this in, so. Forgot to tell my opponent. Good luck, have fun. Anyway. Why keep the pillage, man? Blow up lands. Why do you else do you keep pillages? Jeez. Cinder vines could be good, but it doesn't do anything on the second half of the card. But generally, not. Nah, it's not good enough. Yeah, so I want to play first. Uh, Utopia Sprawl. Hold up the bolt. Got a relic to keep Bedlam Reveler out of in check. But then there's no action, but it is a redraw on Relic. Bolt takes out of the early character. We got our ramp. If we draw anything. What do you think? Chat. What do you think? Keep, no keep. <coughs> yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. Do we keep this hand, chat? Help a brother out. Oops. What's the verdict, Giga? I got another screen pulled up. I think we mulligan. Yeah, I think we need to have uh, Arbor Elf is just going to die. If Arbor Elf doesn't die, then BBE on turn 3 is pretty good. I mean, this is a hard keep. Yeah, but, that's, I know our first hand. Yeah, we're going to 5. Oh, we're going to keep this one. <laughs> uh, keep, put back a stomping grounds, and the pyromancer. No, the BBE. Alright. Foothills. It's not looking good for the home team. It's not looking good for the home team. Well, our opponent what he mulled to? Six, so. <laughs> and he's on the draw. <laughs> he's back at seven. Alright. Oh, that's getting killed. Three damage? Oh, yeah. Come on. Bring it. Bring it. I'm going to I'm going to sit here and wait for a second in a dramatic pause. Do I have the bolt? Do I not have the bolt? I do not have the bolt. <laughs> oh man. All right. You you can hit us for one. 
Essentially two because I also shot myself. But hey, who's counting, right? Oh, man. All right, next. So now, boy, this question beast would be good later. All right. Now we'll hold up the abrade. So he's going to bolt us twice, and then we're going to abrade his face. I swear to God, if he kept a one lander and we took out pillages, me and Gigapod's going to go round and round. Okay, you're, we're good. Lava spike. Close enough to a bolt. Oh, wait. I needed to do it right now. Just prowess on the stack. That's the wrong thing. I need to see what he exiled. Land and a lightning bolt. Man. So if I don't discard... Oh, I have to discard two cards, though. All right, we're going to chance it. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. Risking it for the biscuit. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, man, this is game four life. We draw a land next turn, we're golden. We're going to have two four fours in back-to-back -back turns. No, 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 I, you said risk the biscuit. No, no. If we cast this, we have to discard these two. That seems really bad. We have a lot of lands. We should be. He's going to hit me with a bolt. Dang it. It's all right. It's all right. All right. So now we should seize Empire Mancer and pitch two of these and hopefully hit a land. Because it'll be Glorybringer and either Beast or Gain to Life. And I think we need to Gain to Life. So we're going to Pyromancer. We'll pitch the Beast and the Bringer. Keep the Veil off. And not hit a land. In our... Well, it is a 20 land deck, so I can't really say much. <laughs> Manamorphos, of course. Soul Scar Mage. I will throw everything in front of that steam pin. Do not try me. And then I will bone crush your soul scar mage. <laughs> ah, man, if we drew a land. Lava Spike. Alright, he got one card left in hand, so he ain't attacking with this Steampin. Which is to light up the stage. Land Bedlam Reveler. Boy, I could use that uh, relic right now. <laughs> How do you have the mana to cast that? Oh. Oh, yeah, Niso has two untapped lands. This ain't looking good for the home team. Got to redraw three new cards. time for that right now. 
And a killing fiend? Oh my goodness. Well, that's getting bone crushed. Can't allow that thing to live. And I'm throwing it all in front of this fool. Can't let him just have free reign of mana here. Good grief. Some older fives going to... Well, shoot. Alright, play this. We gotta kill this thing or we're just dead. Then we'll have a blocker with the Arbor Elf. Hopefully we live another turn. That's our hope. Hope and prayers here, boys. Hope and prayers. I mean, he has two redraws. That feels really bad. Oh, we got another sink in. Where's our anger of the gods when you need one? Redraw. Redraw. doing oh he's killing our elf come on man that's four five six we go to three as it stands right now we're at three we're at two We're at six. <laughs> We're hanging in there. We're hanging in there. He has three cards, though. They don't look too good. Uh -huh. Swift Spear. All right. He's down to one card. Redraw. Does he take another redraw? Does he just find a bolt and we die? Questions we will never know. Okay, just redraws. He just redraws. We got hope. We got hope. Hope and prayers. We got another bait off coming. Take it back to 10. You ain't attacking. Quit playing. Forest. One, two, three, four. Bail off part two. We're about to have bail off Tron here. We go up to 10. But he got three cards in hand. He got an active steam can. We could have 12 power on the board. He has another swift spear. This ain't going good. He has a lot of freaking creatures. Boy, an anger of the gods off the top. One time for me. One time. Swings with a 4 4 steam he can. This feels like a trap, but we're going to block. I mean, we can't just take four and die to double bolt, so. Hex Drinker, huh. It's another 4-4 four, four for four. And it's pro instance. I mean, he could kill it. No, 
No. We're, we, we got it there. It's pro instance. I mean, we're hanging on by the skin of our chinny chin chin over here. He didn't have double bolt last time. So I'm hoping he just had a bunch of lands. And doesn't draw into another Kiln Fiend. And we draw into a... Something. This seems awful. Alright. Block you. Block. You. I mean, if he has one spell, so be it. He gets to keep his Bedlam Reveler. But I can't let this guy die. Does have a bolt. That takes us to seven. Takes us to three. Alright. Ugh. Having a 6 6 doesn't work. So we gotta cast this dude. Cast the elf. Try to stay alive another turn. Fade a, fade a bolt off the top. Well, he had a bolt, so. <laughs> Nope. I mean, we, we fought as hard as we could. We just, I mean, we were so far away. Alright. Oh, wait, wait. So, let's go to this next spoiler that we were going to talk about. Let me get it pulled back up again. It's way down here. Here we go. Dang it. Open. Open link. So, Biolante, a two white, a black, green, legendary creature, Nightmare Beast. I swear to God, hey Giga, whenever I first uh, saw like some, some promo art or whatever the box art for this, I was like, is that a mutated sliver? <laughs> so, but <laughs> I'm like, that would be amazing. But anyway, so we have a. Uh, a two, a five mana cost, two white, black, green, legendary creature, nightmare bees with a mutate, uh, green or white, so hybrid mutate mana, black, black. It has death touch and life link, and whenever this creature mutate, return any number of creature cards with total ten power, or power ten or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So, prior to the stream, me and Giggle was talking, and I was like, dude. With this card, with like Grizzly Salvage and Seder Wayfinder, and then it's like, boom, you cast this guy and you're like, bring all those creatures back. Seems really good. Really good. I'm just saying. You can bring back a Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, the one that don't shuffle back in. Hey. <laughs> For five mana, you get a 5-5 five, five, Plus an Ulamog. Don't mess with me right now. <laughs> I will do this. So yeah, so so what do y'all think about Biolante? Biolante. Biolante. Card is stupid. <laughs> That's what the card is. All these mutate cards are wonderful. I mean that one yeah. would probably be one of the best ones. Card is dumb. So, oh, I forgot about something. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to get on to round number three. Y'all tell me in the comments, uh, if you're watching this as a bot on YouTube, tell me in the comments down below what you think about some of these spoilers that's going on. Uh, hit that follow, hit that like button. And round number three. Yes, I would like to play first against our Prowler's opponent.
It was a good mold of five, though. Hey, man, we tried. What a mad lad playing both two drops. Yes, prowess. What a jerk. <laughs> uh, no ramp, but we do have a hex drinker. But you really don't want to play hex drinker until like turn four, to where you can, you know, level it all up. So technically, we have nothing to do until turn three. Uh, Prowess says, the mutate costs are so expensive, do you think they will print ones for cheaper costs, or would that make the mechanic too good? Uh, I think there will be cheaper Prowess creatures, and they may be into, like, un or not Prowess, Dank Element, but, uh, mutate creatures. And I really think they're gonna be in, like, the uncommon or even common slot, and their mutate's not gonna be, like, extremely good, but... Uh, there are, and there are some spoilers I saw that, you know, like the one, uh, the Rex Age spoiler, uh, where, well, this is much better. This is not Arena. <laughs> uh, there's the Rex Age one where many times that you mutate it, so maybe it'll be like a two mana mutate that you can slap onto this and Rex Age something else, you know? So that's what I think is uh, gonna be like the lower cost spoilers. And I do think they'll be really good, so... Man... So I do think that'll be really good, if, if if that is the case. Let's see if this turn two Blood Moon gets us there. Or turn two Pillage. Well, turn two Blood Moon into turn two Pillage. Black Leaf Cliffs. Well, we're about to get Thought Seized. Or Inquisitioned. So take one of our three cards. But you're going to get Pillaged if you take our Blood Moon. If you take our Pillage, we're going to Blood Moon you. So have your way, buddy. Which one do you want to get wrecked by? Your choice. So. Not Blood Moon. He does not want to get wrecked by Blood Moon. Would you like to pay two life? Uh, yes, I would. Because I'm going to pillage the mess out of this land. If we draw a land, we can Hex Drinker and level it up. We drew a land. And this saves it from Fatal Push. I'm excited if there are good enough cheap mutates. I'm going to try to make an affinity work again. It could. Affinity for what? How are you going to make affinity work? Explain this. Explain yourself. We need one more land and we can make it unstoppable. <laughs> Depending on what we draw, probably sees a Pyromancer next turn. So this is some kind of Jund. Ren and Six. Oh no. We're killing that thing. Well, he didn't get Black Mana, so that's gonna count me out the next turn. Well, we're killing Ren and Six. Oh. Uh, Alright, so here's, here's the thing. Let's kill Ren and Six, because we're just going to kill him anyway. Begin combat. Attack Ren and Six. And then we'll Young Peasy, or this guy, Season Pyromancer. So we just draw two cards. 
You get a bolt and a pyromancer, so we can level him up one more. And then if we have nothing that we need to bolt, then we can just take him all the way, the rest of the way. Bird and catacombs. Thoughtseize. Yep, you get our young peasy. Because they say artifact creatures, so if there is good mutate cards that would allow affinity to do stupid things again, I'm here for it. Oh! Yeah, it's non human, so you can mutate onto an affinity creature and put the mutate underneath it, and we just draw another pyromancer. Uh, let's see, one, two. So we would need, what, four? One, two, three, four, so we'd only have one left over. But it'd be eight damage, takes him to four. Or six, at least. Yeah, I think we'd... I would play the Pyromancer, at least this is me. I'd play the Pyromancer just in case he has a bolt for your dude, and then you can play Liana behind him anyway. That's fair. Oh, we just get to draw two cards. Yeah, we get to draw two cards. One of which is a questing beast. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. We can just play the armor on too. Yeah, and we'll just level him up another level. Sure. Why has my graveyard popped out like that? I don't need that out there. Begin combat to. Well, he has to have double black for Lily, so. Right, he still hasn't cast that fetch line. Oh, okay. Thought that was a verdict. Oh, I could be wrong. But he has double black anyway. Into a blood braid elf. Into an Inquisition. Does not hit our questing beast! <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's game, boys. Alright, so against Jund. Jund, 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 Jund. Jund. <laughs> Jund. Uh. Oh, the Bailoffs. Yeah. They seem to be pretty good here. Magus is. We'll go down two Maguses. Uh, one Cloythus. All oh, that was good. One Glorybringer. One Bloodbraid. Since we brought in some four mana cards. Yes, you're right. So. So if you mutate onto, say, like a Volt Scourge, then it has flying, plus whatever the mutate creature's ability, because you put it underneath the Volt Scourge. So it's still an artifact creature, so therefore it uh, still gets the buffs from all the artifact buffs, like cranial plating or whatever it is. Uh, elf dies. I mean, they'll just bolt to Elf turn one. Rest of this is pretty good, though. Especially if they have Liliana. But we only have one land. What am I talking about? Look, man, you gotta tell me about these one-landers. Oh, boy. Another one-lander. The problem with 20-land Ponza. Oh, we got a mulligan. Oh, we got Bolt for days. Glory bringers, all right. Put back one bolt, one bringer. Okay. We're on the draw. Utopia's for all. 
Not a utopia sprawl. <laughs> uh, stomping ground tapped. I want to try to save my fetch lands if we can get this tracker down. Nope, we're not getting the tracker down, that's for sure. Propsa. Oh, man. If we add our obstinate Bayloth. Yeah. Okay. The slowest ever. Here comes Liliana. Yeah, our draw luck isn't too good tonight. <laughs> oh, Ren and Six. Pillage. He's playing Pillage. Yeah, they do that now. Well, there's it since we know he's playing pillage. Oh, that's awful. And he knows I do Utopia Sprawl, so he can pillage my Utopia land. Anger. Man, he just brought in like all my Dorkate. <laughs> Land, please. All right, well, he only has three cards. This can live. We might be able to pyromancer. Doubt this is living. <laughs> no, I didn't think so. We can't draw lands. That pillage was backbreaking. And he probably top decked that bolt. Inquisition probably takes our tracker. I mean, we have all our draw card, but we don't have our uh, good stuff. Well, he's down to one card in hand. If we can draw a land, not a land. All right, we pass. Yeah. Our opponent has all the lands. We have one of the lands. We have none of the lands. What do we have? Croaks out of the graveyard? Get rid of Glorybringer. Yeah, we're bring now that we know about Croxa, we're also going to bring in uh well, they also bring it in for like Graft Digger's Cage. So that way they can clear away the Graft Digger's Cage to get their Croxa back. So, it makes kind of sense. Makes some sense. Croxa, we'll get rid of Glorybringer because, you know, stuff. Hopefully we don't draw this bad next game. Didn't draw a land, and we scoop it up. <laughs> uh, he literally won the game off of the village. Yeah. There's really nothing we want. This cage. I know, I'd kind of bring the Magus back. Yeah, on the play. Uh, let's go down you. I'm not a fan of this as a Pyromancer. Yeah, we'll go down both of those. Yeah, Pillage is a really good guard. Man, what is up with our start hands? Alright. I 
Hopefully our opponent shuffles. <laughs> oh, he did. He rolled the six. Go to five. Go to five. I went to five. Be a man. Or a woman. Or a person. <laughs> Pillage that. All right, what do we got, boy? Black Cleave Cliffs. Sure. Poithus. Poithus hits his graveyard. The rest of this isn't anything. I hate hand rip cards so bad. All right. So he knows about everything in our hand and can play around it perfectly. But we have access to four mana theoretically next turn. Unless he like Assassin's Trophy in my forest. Draw. Alright. Next turn we have Glorybringer mana. And we can bolt plus stomp anything we need to. Here comes the pillage. Ren and six. Well, we will be bolt stomping that. Stomping ground. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. I mean, we got it. We're, we're getting in for damage now at this point. We're hoping he don't have anything with his six cards in hand and four lands. Mm -hmm. Raging Ravine. We got a Pyromancer, so we can draw two cards next turn. Right up until it gets Thought Seized. Well, never mind. That, that, I lied. Upkeep Draw. Tracker's pretty good. Do we play Bone Crusher or Tracker? We don't have a land to go with Tracker, so let's go with Bone Crusher Giant. Cause this will put him to 11. Our next attack puts him to 3 if he don't have a blocker. If he has a land, which we know he does, he can activate Rage and Ravine. Four blood braid. Oh my god. Must be nice. Land. Okay. Well, we'll make it then. We don't have double green. <laughs> but it turns off all his stuff, so. Unless he just goes back to back Blood Braid Elf into Ren and Sixes. But we can't draw a Blood Braid Elf or land to make our tracker actually worth it. That's pretty cool. Six, we get a seven. No blocks. 
That's four, five, six. He goes to four. Hey, we drew a land. All right. Uh, just swing four at Ren and six. Then we'll leave the cracking of the clue. Cycles of Aaron Moore. He attacks. He does he has all the red man in the world. So we have to block at least one. Maybe we draw a bolt. We do not, but we drew a Bayloth. So we are going to block you. A Bayloth we can't cast, but maybe he plays a. If he has double bolt, we lose, so. That doesn't work. Forced off the top. My God, if that was the boss, I would give it up. I'll All right, well, no attacks here. Wow. Well, thought sees it's a May also, so you didn't have to make us discard it. Oh, go Liliana, go Liliana, and make us discard a card. Wouldn't that be great? All right, forced. Close enough. Huh. Arbor Elf. Right. We can't attack. He can't attack. I mean, at least if he attacks it. Our whole goal is to survive to next turn. Then we can bail off and start chaining bail offs together. Right. And we need this to survive to next turn. So if our Arbor Elf survives to next turn. Well, you got another mountain. You got a million of them. Croxa? Oh, please, Croxa. Croxa, Croxa, Croxa. <laughs> I'm like rooting for it right here, but it's three mana. What is red, red? Oh, I could bring back the Pyromancer too. Forgot about that. I forgot to bring back this Pyromancer. Call against command, bring him back a BBE, dealing two damage to me. Oh, that's not gonna be can activate Oh, it's not hitting me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got this Pyromancer. It's gonna Maelstrom Pulse my elf, I'm assuming. Oh, fatal push on my elf, really? Sorry, sorry. It's okay. Can I bring back this? No, that's five mana. I have one, two, three, four. Oof. Can't activate this. We got a block now. And we go to one, so we can't even crack this. Oh, that Colligan's command was brutal off the top. I do know that's what his draw step was, too. Yeah. And we're fighting a good fight here. And then he's like, last card, Bolt. Ha ha ha!
Uh, yeah, we just got to do this. Then we can crack this and make this. What? We only have two mana. Oh, I knew that. Not really, I didn't. I swore I thought we had an extra mana. I forgot this was four. So we took one point of damage for no reason, but we got our double green. Yeah, which means that now we have to throw this to the bail off in front of the ring. It's not enough. Nope, we're dead. He had an assassin. His last card was an assassin trophy. Oh, man. Our freaking luck, bro. It's like... Oh, hold on, hold on. We're not going to join this match. I need, like, two seconds. So, talk about, uh... I gotta go do something. Oh, yeah, this one. I love this card. Alright. We're going to talk about this. When we get back, I'll be right back. But Giga, if you want to talk about it, you can. But yeah, that's what I was saying. It's our, uh, or I was saying, Giga, that you could talk about the card. I just had to take a short re re recess real quick. Yeah, I just, I just got back. So, <laughs> Luminous Bird Mall. This is easily my favorite card in the set by far. Three, four, flying. Whatever creature you control without flying dies, return to the battlefield under control. Flying counter, flying counters. Uh, cards that present and give uh, evergreen text to cards and new things to uh, Personally, I really like it. It makes a lot of cards more powerful, uh, you know, instead of just one time effects. Uh, overall, this card does combo with a few other things. This card com combos with Solemnity. Yeah, so. So how, uh, so with like, uh, the Yawgmoth deck, if you went into like Abzan Yawgmoth, then your unearthed creatures, when like Geralt's Messenger dies, it dies, comes back with a flying counter on it, sack it to Yawgmoth, it leaves again, but since it dies, and, uh, Luminous Moth brings it back as a non-flying creature without a 1-1 counter, so you can create an infinite loop that way with Lum Luminous uh, Brood Moth. So, there's a lot of cool things you can do with this card. And a 3-4 Flying Body is relevant. So, for 4 mana, and the fact that it basically like reanimates anything on your your side of the field that dies, uh, seems pretty, pretty good. Alright, round 4. What's going on, peoples? Finally, I've been trying to open this darn pistachio forever. Daggum shell's hard as a brick. I would like to play first. I'm keeping. I don't care. It's I'm keeping the hand. Just, that's what's happening. Go. I'm playing a Cloythus tonight, damn it. One way or the other. 
And then it gets Thoughtseize, turn one, and I cry. Okay, well, it ain't getting Thoughtseize, so that's a good thing. You're good, pal. Would you like to kill my elf? He would like to kill my elf. <laughs> Cloithus! Cloithus! Cloithus is happening. Let's go. We're gonna start eating things and gaining life. You better have a good play this turn. Sunbake Canyon. I gotta stop for that. Why do I need the mana? I just stop this. We'll eat something, gain some life, and burning for two. Yeah, I can start using it for mana, too. I ain't giving him a chance on that one. This is a prowess, Daddy. He came back for part two to fight against us. Full mana light up the sage. I like it. I like it. Lava dark mana morphos. We'll eat this kiln fiend. No, we're just going to start eating these uh, spells. So he can't uh, that bedlam raffler me. Yeah. No, because you have... I mean, I want to save my mana. Right now, I have plenty of mana. I drew a Utopia Sprawl. I got five mana. I can cast everything in my hand. Yeah, we'll cast a Sprawl on this. Now I got really all the mana. <laughs> See what I'm saying? By keeping him from filling his graveyard up with spells to keep a uh, Bedlam Reveler in check, that's going to help us out a lot. Got a lava spike. Got a whole lot of stuff. That's what he's trying to do. He wants a Bedlam Reveler. I got Glorybringer. He has one card in hand. I got Blood Moon. Stops him from drawing cards, too. Alright, so we got four, five, six mana. We can Bone Crusher plus Magus. And then he has to spend... Oh, I should ate that lava dart. Damn it. I'm an idiot, that's why. Or I could just exert Glorybringer and kill this. Because then he'd have to. Does Lava Spike hit a creature? Target player or Planeswalker? So. Alright. That's Glorybringer. I think that's right. And we'll just get this Soul Scar Mage out of here. That seems good. That seems right. 
He has a bunch of redraws. Bunch of redraws. Use all them. All right, you're dead. Awesome. Uh. So we bring in these three and these three. We take out the four magi. <coughs> uh. Yeah, I think like that. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Dang, man. So we got one more spoiler left. Ugh. Boy, if we had lands, <laughs> we ain't got no lands. All right, we still have no lands. All right, we're keeping. Yeah, keep. Uh, put back a stomping grounds and a windswept to youth. Here we go, boys. He molded to five also. He actually mold lower than we did. Well, shit. Bolt? Not a bolt. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's a big problem. So we get our head kicked in here. You can go bolt, bolt, bolt. That's 18 damage. <laughs> 19. It's lethal. If he has three bolts, it's lethal. He has a stop. It's essentially six damage. Seven at when we fetch. Pay loss to be good. We just have to live to cast it. <laughs> I'm hoping he has nothing. That's seven damage. If he has another spell, we lose. Alright. Good grief. I think we're gonna gain the life. Yeah, we're gaining the life this turn. Which takes us back to seven. Play our land. Bailoff gets our devotion up to four also. And us back to eleven. And Bailoff effectively blocks Kiln Fiend. We got hope. So, we take the four, we kill the Kiln Fiend. And he'd have to have another spell as his last card. Yeah. Because if he doesn't have a spell, then we can block the Bone Crusher next turn. Sure. Sure. That was his last card. 
Oh, it doesn't kill Kiln Fiend because of Soul Scar Mage. Stupid card. Let's see, one, two, three, four. We're gonna BDE. Huh. That's five. So, forest sprawl here on red. <coughs> Excuse me. Bloodbraid Elf. We will into. Yep, we'll cast it. We'll pitch two other Pyromancers. Know what that does? That activates our Coithus. Yeah! <laughs> then we got Glorybringer next turn. Alright, we got Hope. He has no cards, so it's going to be rough for him to get all of this off the battlefield. A Bloodbraid Elf into a Seasoned Pyromancer, that was pretty good. I have to give it that one. A Braids to Bloodbraid Elf that turns off our Cloythus. But we got Glorybringer, takes out Kiln Fiend. And... So we got a block for, well... We don't have to block, but we probably should block. Uh, we're definitely blocking this. And blocking this and taking two. Yeah. Block you. Block you. Take the two. Then... We draw a card. It's pretty good. So hold on. Let's do the math there. One, two, three, four, five. So we couldn't cast Bailoff plus Bringer, but we can't cast Bringer. He can't. Okay, yeah. So we just gained a life. So we cast. Bring four five. Then we attack and exert on Bone Crusher. That means the most damage he can do this turn is two, and we can mitigate it with our Cloythus. Gets a redraw. Okay. Yeah, we'll block. Then we have Bailoff for next turn. We have Bone Crusher. Yeah. Cast Stomp on you. This probably will get to concede. Cast a bail off. Gain four life. Back to 15. He has one card in hand. I did not attack with the Cloythus, and I should have. Because I don't know what I'm doing. All right. <laughs> Yeah! We got there! We got there! Against Prowess. Because <laughs> you know, every league, we're going to double up a match somewhere. <laughs> this league was Prowess. Alright, we got a shot. We got a shot for 3-2. We got a shot for a treasure chest. We are going to go to our last spoiler. Really should, uh... I don't know what I'm doing. Where's my Discord? It's way up there. There we go. 
our last spoiler. Hey, did y'all notice? I want to. I want to talk about this also. Hold on. Uh, open link. There we go. Our last spoiler. Ula, Ulana, U Ilana, Iluna, Iluna. Apex of. <laughs> uh, our teamer, our teamer, legendary creature, beast, elemental, dinosaur. And have y'all noticed that theirs beyond death kind of looks like the Lorwyn leaf, but with an eyeball in it and kind of like a little flare. Anyway, uh, so Iluna, Apex of Wishes, is two green, blue, red teamer colors. Legendary creature, beast, elemental, dinosaur, flying, that's a big, giant, you know, monster with spikes hanging off of it. It looks like it probably was a sliver at one point in time, but mutated into whatever this thing is. Uh, would mutate of three, green, red, blue, blue. If you cast this spell for its mutate cause, put it over the top of or under target non-human creature you own. They mutate into the creature on top plus all abilities from under it. All abilities. So, hold on one second. So, it has flying and trample. Whenever this creature mutate, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land permanent. Put that card onto the battlefield or into your hand. So how can we break this? Omniscience. Omniscience. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Mute, cast it for it. Mutate cost on like a... A token from Castle Ardenvale. No, that's a human. Never mind. And just like will into Omniscience. Okay. <laughs> they cast everything from your hand. Yeah. Thopter tokens. Make Thopter tokens. So chat, tell me how y'all would break this card. Alright. On to our fifth and final round. So we lost the prowess. We beat prowess. We lost the Jun. Let's see what our last match is. Probably Tron. And we only have two land destruction spells, but we got Megasis. Longest match pairing ever. Alrighty. Let's do this, boys. We lose the die roll. We have one land. Magic God hates us, man. We can have a hex drinker. Oh, it is much better. Much, much better. That's an amazing pack. That's much better. Alright, we're going. Let's see. That's three, four mana. So that's a turn three, four, four hex drinker, or we could turn two a four, four hex drinker if we lead with Arbor Elf and pitch the Glorybringer, or we can turn to a Glorybringer if we lead with Arbor Elf and pitch the hex drinker. But that's assuming that our Arbor Elf lives. Our opponent has mold to five, so this is how it would work: Foothills, crack it. Forest, Utopia Sprawl, Turn, or Forest, Arbor Elf, St 
stomping ground utopia sprawl tap it for two utopia sprawl arbor elf untap it four mana four four hex drinker or yeah that's about what we can do it's a four four hex drinker on turn two turn three glory bringer so we can pitch one sprawl and possibly do both all right we're going for it pitch to sprawl This is how we're doing it. We're going to get there. He goes to four. Our opponent has molded the four cards. I'm perfectly okay if you molded like one. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Opponent's deciding on what four cards he would like to keep. He keeps. Draw step. Razor Verge Thicket. It is Boggles. All right. Well, odds are our Arbor Elf will live. It's funny. As soon as I saw Ranger Verge sick, and I was like, Boggles. So, oh, that pillage is going to be so good. Oh. I kind of want to play this Utopia Sprawl to guarantee the pillage next turn. With two cards in hand, he probably kept a one lander. But I kind of want the 4-4 four, four Hex Striker. Nope. We're guaranteeing the pillage. I know it's not the most explosive. But if he kept a one lander, there's a good chance he does nothing the rest of the game. He did not keep a one lander. I was wrong. I was wrong. Abort mission. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course you have a Griff fan. Why wouldn't you? And probably an Ethereal Armor, of course. Awesome. And it has four strikes, so it gets through my glory bringer. The nut boggle hand over here. Because he has flying and I don't. Coithus can be good. Alright. Well. I don't think pillage is as worth it right now. Unless he slams a paper cornet with a snap. Well, he has to top deck it, so. But this gives me Glory Bringer next turn. If I draw a land. Problem is, is the first strike kills my glory bringer. Okay. Oh, uh, we'll eat your lamb. <coughs> At least this will buy us a turn. One, two, three. I uh, should have went with the Arbor Elf on turn one.
That first strike is what's brutal. Maybe I take another four here. I can't pump it. Arborel plus Hex Drinker lets me get Cloythus rolling for four damage. Bloodbraid Elf. Yes. For green. So we can use our green mana here. Then we can Bloodbraid Elf. Bloodbraid. Are we going to do it? I should have attacked last turn at 15. That'd be 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, wouldn't it matter if I attacked last turn anyway. Utopia Sprawl on Forest, sure. For green. Man, if Pillage could only hit enchantments, this would be so much better for us. I mean, we're definitely attacking with Cloythus and Bloodbraid. We can block, then we can Hex Drinker. And gain two life. Feed top decks of Spirit Mantle, we die. Then we can throw our Hex Drinker to a 6-6. Six, six. This will take him to 11. Or 12. Because math is hard. Alright. Glorybringer, you got a block. He keeps drawing lands. I'm okay with this. Technically, Glorybringer don't have to block. He drew a land. We go to 1. That's 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12. It's lethal. Okay. No blocks. We get a one. We got lethal on board. He has no cards in hand, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah. So I do you block so I can win. <laughs> Uh, we're not cracking that. <coughs> I don't know why I'm doing all this. Oh, it's the last match. That's why. I'm doing it because I can. Should be exactly 12. 4, 8, 12. Oh, the Arbor Elf! Oh my god, I forgot all about that. Well, now we lose. Yeah, we just lost. He, he, he had... He, he, knew, he knew his deck better than we did. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, uh, I completely forgot that that stupid thing can be fetched. Yep. All right, well, Cinder Vines. Yep. I mean, do you really want Anger of the Gods? I mean, the thing's like a 5-5 like before you can even get going. Uh, well, we can Anger on turn two. So, yeah, we want Anger. Trust me, anger like Rex boggles. Ah, oh, totally forgot about Arbor Elf. Totally forgot about it. Which is why you should have aimed for the fetch land. That would have been, yeah. Note to self. Yep. Uh. 
All right, this is good. And we're going to start off with Arbor Elf. We lead with Elf. Boggles that kept seven, not good for us. <coughs> Our big thing is, is getting the tech shrinker down and getting it popped up to full max as fast as possible. That's our biggest goal right now. Man, I can't believe I totally forgot Arbor Elf is a card. Yeah, I forgot too because I, I took it out of my deck. I didn't like it for a color the Hey, it's our Slippery Boy. Oh, that makes me so angry that I forgot that was an actual card. Yeah, our main goal is to get this Hex Shrinker uh, leveled up. I think we just run out the Bone Crusher. Well, no, because... Well, yeah. Yep. It's a good blocker. He has to have, like, multiple, uh... Yeah, he's gotta get a first. Right? Yeah. Which he probably has like Griff Rune, Ethereal Armor, because that's just he kept seven cards, so why would you keep a hand with you need a boggle and a bunch of enchantments and hopefully a land. <laughs> Cause next turn we can level this up to a four four pro instance to get it outside of the uh the range of Path to Exile. And he shocks. And two enchantments. Umbra. Gives it first strike. E, Thrill Armor. Umbra. It's a 3-3 three, three with first strike, which means he kills our Bone Crusher Giant. So we take the three. He's going to take four. Bring it. All we gotta do is get this snake leveled up. <laughs> That's a good way to do it. Begin combat. Uh, attack. We're racing him, it's what we're doing. He goes to 11. We go to our second main phase. And we're just dumping a ton of mana into Snake Boy. That gets him out of the range of... Uh, this also makes our next attack lethal. So that takes him away from Path to Exile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have enough mana to cast both of these next turn. You can't Path to Exile. Daybreak Coronet's a problem. So he goes to 16, we attack for 10. This is a problem. Oh, where's our cinder vines? 
Blood Moon. Blood Moon's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we're going to do that. And Blood Moon. <laughs> we need three. Now we can block this infinitely. It's gonna be who draws a uh, <laughs> a, a way to fly. He has to find more white mana through our blood moon. That vigilance, though. Okay, he can't beat the snake. That was pretty good. You know what? I'm bringing this in. If we somehow get this down, we can start bolting him every turn. Hey, can we just get a turn two one, please? Yeah, that'd be awesome. And have him mold to like one. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like mine. I mean, their mana base is just as bad as our mana base. Uh, while we're at it, everybody, thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you, everybody, that has subscribed and followed over the past week. Uh, we will be going back to our normal streaming schedule now that things have kind of, like, stabilized at work because, you know, this isn't my full-time job. Uh, I wish it was. So, y'all hit that subscribe button. Uh, y'all hit that subscribe button. Hit that follow button. Hit that like button. Whatever you can to help out the channel. Don't forget our sponsor, Emerald Dragon Games. You can go check them out at EmeraldDragonGames.com as they are close to the public for the foreseeable future due to the COVID-19 incidents or whatever COVID-19 epidemic that's going on. Uh, outside of that, let's get on and hopefully we can beat Bogles. Uh, Bogles from GD Carplunk 03. We can beat Bogles. And... Don't forget, Godzilla! We got Godzilla! Oh my God. If we draw a land, we got to turn two Blood Moon. <laughs> so greedy. Do we keep it and a pillage on top of it? We're drawing. Oh We're drawing. We're doing it. We're doing it, Bogle. Glist. Oh, oh, di you sneaky tiger, you. Oh, he, this is the MCG gold. Oh, this is not the MCG gold. This is the, uh. I know uh, what it is. But hey, we have a bolt. We do. This is, uh, Magic Aids. Magic uh, Aids. Ma Magic Aids transformed to sideboard. Yep. I, I got news for you, GD Kerplunk03. I've watched that video too. <laughs> we left the bolt, <laughs> Only oddly bolts in <laughs> against Boggles. Uh, yeah, I just got a windswept teeth here and hold oh. it up. Wait for him to cast his first enchantment. Or do we do it right now to stop anything like a Veil of Summer? Not a Veil of Summer, no, but uh. They, they don't have that. Okay. No, you try and two for one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he could have Counterspell. Ooh. That would be quite unfortunate. Is he actually mana? No, I mean... It's oh! <laughs> and he got the Counterspell. Watch. I bet you he has it. Oh, my God. Or he has a Blinded Angel. Spider... Yeah, I have to do it right now. Yeah, he has to. Just hopefully he doesn't actually have Spell Pierce and... Fifteen wasn't literally just switching to effect. I mean, yeah, 
Ha 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 Did he bluff it? But he might have blighted it. Well, you can't oh, cast man. it. <laughs> you can't cast a blighted agent. I mean, but he can cast next turn. Yes, he can. Alright. Forest. All we need to do is get this Megas down without him having a threat. If we do that, we're... Well, I mean, we do also have Glorybringer to take down elves. Like, yeah. infect creatures. Yeah, I mean, and if he even plays another thing... Oh, you're gonna give me a land? Are you crazy? Oh, don't play, don't play, don't play, no, no, stop. I don't know what color he made with that. Alright, we need to land off the top again. So we don't die to infect. Land off the top. Without him having like an Umbra for his widened agent. Or bolt. Land, bolt, something. He could. Nope, he went Glistener Elf. Alright, so he has one card left in hand. Uh. If we can glue. No, we Magus, so he has no mana anymore. We Magus and we Elf. Yep, so. Elf. Magus. All right, and then if we draw a land, if we draw a land, we glory bringer take out this blighted agent, cause that can kill us over ten turns. Or we just have a billion megasis. Uh, well. This is where we go this guy so we can get a land. <laughs> Makes sense, right? We could have just cast Glory We can't. Oh, we have the elf. Why didn't you say that? Tony, because you're just going too fast. <laughs> like, you sit here and you just slam it. Like, take two seconds to think. Uh. Just play the second Magus. Yeah. Back up, Magus. Wait, wait. Yeah. Actually, let's do that post combat. We'll swing, see if he. No, no. We'll do it pre combat. Let's not be dumb. Do we even attack? Get this Glistener Elf out of the way? Yeah. See, it was all a part of my plan. I believe that shit if you want to. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna slow down, Ben. We'll create red. We'll play a red land. We'll play this glory bringer. We'll untap this. Tap this. We'll pillage your blue land. Even though it's a mountain. Attack, attack, attack. Attack and exert. Hold on, kill that. 
No, it's over. <laughs> once we once we take out the blighted agent, he has zero win cons. All right, we got there. We got there. We got there. We got there. <laughs> Even though you're right, Ben, I was playing too fast. I was wasn't thinking. Thank you for the uh, reality check. Exactly. That's why you're a moderator. That's what you're supposed to do. All right, guys. So, in honor of today's Ikoria spoilers, we, uh, that is not the one. Where's it at? What'd I do with it? it has to be somewhere. Oh, well, it's in, it's in Discord, so I'll get it from there. So, in honor of today's, we ended up going 3-2 tonight. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out and hanging out with us on this night. Uh, in honor of our Ikoria spoilers. And Godzilla! Godzilla! <laughs> uh, in honor of Godzilla, we played some Green Red Monsters tonight. We went 3-2 tonight. Uh... Ran into Prowess, ran into Jun, had some really bad draws in both of those games. So I could really see the Jun game turning and being, having us at a 4-1. The Prowess one, he just had the bonkers nuts in game three. So, but overall, it was a good league. Uh, H and all of you guys that came out and hung out with us, you know, we're just here trying to bring some levity to this otherwise ridiculously you know, retarded situation that's going on in the world. So we hope you had fun. Uh, hope you enjoyed the spoilers and our little bit of commentary on them and what we thought about them. Uh, if you like this content, the VOD will be up tomorrow on YouTube. If you want to rewatch it and pick on me about all of my play mistakes, feel free to do so. Just leave a comment in the comment section on the YouTube channel. And also remember our sponsor, Emerald Dragon Games, and remember your local LGS also. Anything you can do to help them out, uh, I just ask you guys to do that. You know, this is, when they say Magic the Gathering, you have Magic and then you have the Gathering. You know, that's the two parts of Magic. And the Gathering isn't just showing up at your LGS and playing. It's the community as a whole. It's everybody from, you know, I met... Uh, Gigapon, we were actually in a WoW guild together that we didn't even know we were in the same guild. But anyway, I met Gigapon. He came, he showed up to a stream one night. We were streaming Slivers that night. And we became good friends. And he lives way the hell across the country away from me. So, but we're good friends. And he's been a loyal supporter of the stream. And that's what the gathering is all about. That is what community is. So, I urge you guys... You know, contribute to your community. Help your LGSs. You know, uh, if they're like, hey, just pass out some flyers with our website on it, then pass out some flyers. It ain't going to kill you. It ain't going to hurt you. Outside of that, that's Gigapon. This, I'm Antonio MTG. This is the revolution. You guys are great. Peace, love, chicken grease, because we're out of here. Maybe. If I can figure out how to turn this off. <laughs> Later, guys.